Okay, good evening everyone. Hope you're doing well. Uh, JP Costa here coming to you live from Cape Town. Um, I hope you're doing well and I hope you had a fantastic weekend. And um, if some of you might not know, we've just finished our business period, the business period of July. So the hard close was afternoon uh, around two, three o'clock. And uh, what an amazing business period it's been once again. And I'm so, so proud of all of you. Uh, a lot of you obviously on the call this evening are associates. Some of you are new to Manatech. And uh, just before I start and just share with you a little bit about, you know, my story with Manatech, I've been doing this for 12 years. So I'm not a novice. I started, um, you know, uh, as a 22-year-old student looking for a way to earn extra income. And obviously my goal was to earn an extra 5,000 rand a month back, uh, back in 2008. And uh, now I'm, doing, I'm still doing this and, and uh, you know, after 12 years. So it's really, really amazing. It's made all my dreams come true. And it can for you also if you decide to make a decision to really go for it. And I just want to just off the bat, just share with all of you that this is definitely not a get rich quick scheme. So if you're looking to get involved in Manitech and be a millionaire next month and you're in the wrong business, this is not a pyramid scheme. This is not a Ponzi scheme. This is actually a legitimate business opportunity with legitimate products where we've got massive amounts of customers. In fact, 70% of the people involved in Manitech, in fact, a lot more uh, are just customers of the product and want the product every, every single month. And I think for me to build a sustainable, tangible business, it's so important to have those things. So, um, yeah, I live in Cape Town with my family. I've got two kids. Um, my daughter put a little um, part of my um, sticker on my, on my hand this evening before going to bed. So, um, so she's two and my son's four. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I used to be 33. I turned 34 last week. So, uh, so I'm now uh, getting on. But anyways, um, so we, what we're going to do this evening is it's just really just to give you a short a little bit of introduction to Manatech and um, also to let you know that um, you know, just to share a few success philosophies with, with you if you're starting for the very first time. And, um, you know, I, I try and make my, my, my talks a little bit different, um, you know, because I don't want to be talking about the same thing every, um, um, sorry, is there, if there's a sign problem, I'm not sure if there is a sign problem. Um, yeah, I will try and mute everyone from my side. Um, if you are, everyone, sh yeah, everyone should be muted. Okay, so this should be better. So um, what I try and do is I try and do like my talks a little bit differently every time because obviously you don't want to um, specifically hear the same talk every single time. And because very often we do have people that have been involved with Manitech for a little bit longer. And um, so for me this evening, I just want to share with all of you that really that 80% of success is all about showing up. And um, you might be thinking, why am I even saying that? Because I've seen that over the past 12 years, the people that show up to the meetings, the people that show up to these conference calls, the people that show up to their prospecting meetings or to their trainings, those are the people that are actually going to manifest success in the business. It's definitely not the person that one minute that, you know, they're excited, the next minute they're going to quit the business. They're really people that are very, very, very consistent. And I want to encourage you this evening that this is really about being consistent. I mean, for me, if you ask my wife what has been, if she, I mean, obviously, has obviously known me quite, for quite some time, but um, for me, it's always about that consistency. It's not like one month I worked hard and the next one I took off for two weeks or whatever. It was really, I've been consistent every single month talking to new people, but more importantly, getting the right types of people involved in managing. Because it's one thing to recruit someone. It's one thing to sell someone on a product or even a, an associate to get them involved in building the business. But the thing about this is really, how are you going to walk a, a path with someone? How are you going to build a relationship with someone? Because that is really where you see the big success. To give you an idea, I mean, um, you know, um, just, you know, being a, a platinum presidential, being, you know, pretty close to one star, platinum presidential is um you know i've only really i've signed up about 200 250 people into manatech over the last um 12 years you know so it's not even 20 to 25 people a year so the thing is that a lot of you do that some of you do that even every second month but it's really about getting the right people on on board but also doing that consistently not just for for one year or for two years for three years or four years but really doing that consistently for five years and that's how i've obviously been able to become a million dollar earner build a team of 40 50 000 people in my group uh, been able to travel all, all the way over the world with it because not because I worked hard for one week, but it's because I was willing to do that consistently. And there's this success philosophy about a Chinese bamboo tree that takes such a long time to grow. And it, you know, it doesn't really grow for you know, one, two, three, and four, but in year five, it grows almost grows 90 feet in the air. And it's pretty much the same in our business. And you will actually, if you talk to any of the leaders that have achieved success, they're going to share with you guys that it wasn't the first week or the second week. It's that they were consistently plugged in. They were consistently engaged. So um, <clears throat> what I'd like to do this evening is I'd like to talk to you guys about a few books that really changed, um, you know, things for me. Uh, and they're actually all hanging in front of me. But, uh, but the first one is Think and Grow Rich. Um, 
definitely without a doubt, and I'll share with you now why. Um, the next one would be Beyond Positive Thinking. And the third one would be um, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And um, what this really is all about is about changing your thought philosophy and your, the process of you thinking about things. Because I can tell you one thing, if you change your mindset, if you change your belief systems, you can change your life. You know, I see it so often, you know, and if I can give you guys a success tip, it's just really that you've got to realize, and I first saw this in um, Rhonda Burns' uh, uh, documentary that she did, but also in a lot of these books, is that thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions, and actions lead to results, and therefore thoughts equals your results. And I want you to think about, because you might be thinking, why do they even say that your thinking is so important and your mindset is so important? Because you, you think about it, is your mindset controls how you feel, and how you feel determines whether you make the call, whether you go and do the meeting, whether you prospect someone at the shopping mall, whether you, when you see someone that really needs the product, you're willing to have the courage to go and talk to them. So when I'm saying that you, that 80% of your success is really directly related to the way you think about things, I'm, I mean, I, that's not just what I'm saying. This is what the success philosophies of people that have written many, many books on the subject are saying, including um, Anthony Robbins, who I've been privileged to see live at a conference. I mean, even one of the guys here, he of Eka, seen him live, um, you know, been to one of these functions. So it's really, really important that you realize that your thinking is what's going to con control how big your, you build your business. And very often I, I see that happen. I see people build their business very, very quickly and then they just can't get to the next level because they, they, they really, it's because of the way they think about things. Some people are just, unfortunately, I was, <clears throat> give you an example, I was today quickly at the, um, just at the, um, like a CNA, just to get a, um, you know, um, an envelope to post something, or create something to someone. And it's amazing. I saw a lady there and I said to the lady who worked behind the counter, I said, geez, this lady is just negative. And Afrikaans, she said, no. And I didn't know what it was about her, but I could just feel her energy wasn't good. It's almost like, you know, when she walked into the room, the lights dim. And unfortunately, these types of people don't do very well in network marketing. So you can drag them over the finish line. You can say or do it or say or do it if you want. So when I'm saying to you, what I'm really trying to say to this evening is if you maybe aren't are struggling with the way you're thinking about things, if you're pessimistic, if you always see what's going wrong in your life and, not, and, not, and, and always seeing the glass half empty, then I'm telling you that you're not a tree. You can actually change the way you think about things. So I want to encourage you is that make a decision today that, you know, for things to change in my life, I have to change. And this is one of the biggest, biggest problems I've seen so often is that average ordinary people, they think their success is directly based on or off other people. <clears throat> and here's the thing. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about your personal decision that you make in your life to win in your life. And I've seen, seen it with, recently, I've seen it with, uh, there's a girl in the call here this evening, Sumi van der Berg. I mean, this is a girl that's really, really become a brand new presidential that's really put her mind to it, that's been so determined for the last two, three months to become a presidential and it's manifested itself. And I'm, I'm saying, all I'm trying to say to you guys, is if, she were, if she always had the mindset of, oh, no, I'm not going to go PD. It's not going to work for me. Oh, all the people are quitting. Everyone's canceling the automatic orders. It, it, it never would work. And I want to encourage you that that's what you, how you got to change your thinking that you have about your manatee business. So I just want to run you through a few brief things about, um, you know, the first book, Think and Go Rich, which was written by Napoleon Hill, almost was really the first success philosophy ever put into print. But he talks about the common, de common denominator for people that achieve success is that they've got a clear, concise mental picture of what they want to achieve. It would be like someone saying, listen, I'd love to take play a part of the Olympics, but I, I don't even know like if I'm gonna if, if I'm even gonna get on the flight. I don't even know if I'm gonna pr practice for it or you know I've got no plan that I'm gonna do. So these people that win gold medals, people that are champions in what they do, they know exactly what they what they want and exactly what they're gonna do to achieve it, and they are willing to go through that you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I want to encourage you. That's really what it really pretty much um, uh, sums up. Uh, um, think of Gertrude. The one important thing I'll never forget about it. He says. They, they put such a clear, concise mental picture of what they want. It's not only in their mind as they think about it, but they have it in writing, what they want to accomplish. They have it in writing. And I want to ask you this evening, if you've got your goals in writing? Because if, you, if I can show you my diary, yeah, I can show you, like, my goals I wrote for, 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 uh, for 2020. The first goal, which I thought was impossible, we've done that one twice. Uh, I'm very, very close to the second one. I, I'm really working hard on the third one. Uh, the fourth one, I'm almost there. I mean. And it's not, not that that's important, but it, why I'm sharing it with you is because if you think that you're going to become a presidential, it's like you've got to have that in writing and you've got to believe that you've got to visualize it. I mean, you've got to, you've got to speak that into life because if you speak negative and if you speak pessimism and it's not going to work, it's, I'm telling you now, it's not going to work for you. And also the other key thing is, yeah, you've got to have a burning obsessive desire. 
you because you see, that's the only way that you get into action and get motivated to move on to the next level. So for me, it's very, very, very important. That was pretty much the summed up um, Think and Grow Rich for me, but I would encourage you to read the book um, or even the other one that's great. Um, it's called uh, Your Right to Be Rich. And when they, say, when they say rich, I'm not talking about like money, just like like rich. I'm talking about being rich in all areas of your life from a physical point of view, from a mental point of view, from an emotional point of view, from an, um, you know, from a, uh, from a, um, from a spiritual point of view, I mean, for in all, all areas of your life, you need, I mean, so very often people think that, um, you know, when you say that you're talking about money, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about having a, a life that's complete, um, a balanced life, if I can call it that. So the next book I want to talk to you about is this one over here um, called Beyond Positive Thinking. Um, and this is, I think, one of the, um, it's such an amazing book because it really talks about your belief system about you know the other thing about about this is, is really your, your self-image i think a lot of people struggle with self-image and your self-image is what you think of yourself um very often we've got this thing of what we think what other people are thinking about us but we also have this inner thing that what we think about ourselves and sometimes people maybe have an outside people from the outside see that actually you know uh, you know things in a see see you in a very good light but you sometimes have issues and ch challenges and things you've worked through and things that have happened to you in your life and you don't even know why they happened or how to deal with them, whatever. So very often for a lot of us is, is the self image that we have and we, and, and you can actually change your self image. And if you look at your beliefs and your self image, that's really the blueprint you have for your life. It's like, you know, when you um, design a home or you design an airplane or you design like pretty much anything, you put a blueprint into place and you know, that's really a detailed plan for action. So the first thing I want to encourage you is you've got to believe what you want to achieve. And the next thing you got to do is you got to have the self image that you feel that you feel worthy of that because I've often seen people that they, they feel like they don't deserve success. They feel that oh it's, it's okay for other people but it's, I'm not it's not for me. It's only and and also the other thing is that we a lot of people don't realize this. And I, I sometimes pick it up with certain with some people but I also sometimes pick it up when people don't do this. And that's the thing is with some people that it's like they don't want other people to have success and they don't realize when you when you are like that it's like. It's like you want everyone to get by, but just not by you. And Afrikaans say that they come out with a good chance, but they do better chance with my chance. And what you realize is you're that type of person. I want you to tell you this evening, you must change. You're not a tree, change. Because if you want more success in your life, then you've got to, you've got to live your life in gratitude. And you've got to be, you've got to, you've not praise other people for success, but you've got to say, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. That's so amazing. Because what you do is you actually create more success in your own life. Because, um, that's unfortunately how the law of the universe works. And if you did any holy book, I, I, it's pretty much the same thing as well. But uh, you have to, um, you have to, you've got to, you've got, you've got to actually, um, you've got to bless other people along the way, you know, and really mean it. So, um, so that really was beyond positive thinking. The third thing is the secrets of the millionaire mind. Um, and I, I saw T of Echo Live in, uh, in you know, the conference. It's, one of the, it's an amazing book, and he talks about you know that your inner world determines your outer world. Um, very often, people think that it's really that it's outside in, but it's really inside out. If you if you change the way you, the way you feel about yourself and change the ways you think about things inside, then you can manifest the things on the outside. And the problem is, people want to manifest the things on the outside, but they don't want to actually change themselves from the inside. So, um, so that's the first thing. The next thing is is that you, you know that big success requires big energy. You can't achieve massive success if you're not willing to put the action and the effort and time behind it. So I want to encourage you to make sure that you are willing to, um, to, to take big, big energy in whatever you want to achieve. So make sure that you realize big success requires big energy. Here's one of the other things. People either give, get results or, they, or you can have reasons. How often do you say that? I, on this call this evening, I've got people on this call this evening. Um, that they could use their kids as the reason not to build a business. And there's a lot of you on the call this evening, or well, I know, because I know what's going on in your uh, circumstances, that are using the, the, their kids as the reason to build a business. I mean, you can either use your, you know, your, the, 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 what you're going through, um, you know, your spouse or maybe your job that you've got as the reason not to build a business, or you can use it as a reason to, to build the business. So I want to encourage you, it's just a mindset change you've got to make. And you, know, you might be saying, oh, JP, but you don't know my situation. No, I might not know what your situation, but I can tell you now, if you don't change the way you think, your situation's not going to change very much um, in the future. Um, because un un unfortunately or fortunately, depends on how you see it, is that your mindset is, 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 is re it's really the gatekeeper to your, to your life. Um, so, um, so remember, you either have results or you have re reasons you can't have both. And um, here's a key thing, and I see this all the time. Passion trumps 
skills all the time. Passion, excitement, enthusiasm trumps skills all the time. It's not the person who knows the product the best that builds the biggest business. It's not the person who shows the best plan or knows the compensation plan the best that builds the biggest business. It's not the person who knows the facts about the company or the industry that builds the biggest business. It's the person that's excited. And that can be a 22-year-old student. That can be a 78-year-old grandmother. It can be a 25-year-old a single mom or it can be a 45 year old single dad it doesn't make a difference who you are but if you are excited and passionate people are drawn to people that are excited and enthusiastic my mentor once said to me go and catch on, 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 on go and catch on fire with excitement and people will come from a mile to see you burn because you're enthusiastic and you're excited and people prefer to be people and i'm not talking about being fake and being excited i'm saying being yourself and being real so um so for me really you've got to realize that you know this the next thing is this this programming programming a job i mean a lot of us have got like negative pro programming but if you want to change your 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 programming um it's really that you've got to determine your thoughts that you have in your mind so programming determines results now i want you to think of there's three different ways you can change your programming the one is by verbal the second one is by modeling and the third thing is by specific in, in, instances so verbal is really what people, what you hear and what, you know, what you hear from other people, what you listen to on podcasts, from audio tapes, it's what you hear. I mean, social scientists say there's three different ways that people can change. The books that you read, it's the people you associate with, and it's what you listen to. So really, really important is that you can change who you are if you change what you put in your mind. It's like garbage in, garbage out. You can control that. So uh, it's a really, really important to realize that, first of all, verbal, what's that? What you hear, CDs. Modeling is what you see, how, you know, you become like the people you associate with. You, you maybe have a mentor, you have some of the people you surround yourself with, with the books and the people. The third thing is specific incidents. Those are the experiences that you have, like the emotional experiences you have maybe when you go to a function, you listen to someone's story, like, you know, a new presidential story or, you know, a lady sharing a, you know, a testimonial on what the product's done for her. So really, really important that you realize that, you know, that you can change your program, prog programming that you have. So the next thing I want to ask all of you is, um, for manifesting your success is you have to make a decision. And how many of you on the call this evening has actually made the decision to go to the next level? Because I think some, you know, sometimes we hope for it, we dream about it. But for me, really, it's, 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 if you want to achieve it, it's what do you do? You, you write down what you want and you write down what are you willing to sacrifice or what are you willing to put in to get that achievement. So very, very important is that leaders make decisions. And uh, once they make a decision, they commit, they focus, they have a massive work ethic, determination, and they know that that, that that decision will manifest itself if that, that is how, and, and if, if, that is, if they're willing to sacrifice to put in the time and effort, it, 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 just the laws of the universe, that is how it works, is that you will never, you will never get something that you, here's, this, here's, the, here's actually what I want to say. If it's success in our business, that's never gone fail. There's no Black Friday special. There's no COVID-19 special to achieve uh, presidential. It doesn't go and sell. It's the, for you to make success in this, it's not how much money you have, it's not who you know, it's your sweat equity that you're willing to put in, who you're willing to talk to, and you being enthusiastic and being excited about this. You see, average ordinary people think that their success is based on others, and I said this earlier, or off others. It's not, it's based on you. It's based absolutely on you. And you know what, the key thing about this is you can change you. You know, you can change you, and like, I'm not saying that, try not to be yourself, but I'm saying that you can be a better version of yourself, and it shouldn't all of us strive towards that. So, um, so I want to encourage you to make a decision this evening. I want you to think about, you know, we, it's, it's now August. I mean, there's only a few more months left of the year. I mean, we've got, um, you know, we've got the, um, you know, we've got the last month of the incentive now. So uh, it's, it's, I, I honestly believe with, with everyone, if you're on the call this evening, that August is going to be the biggest month we're going to have that we've ever had, bigger than April. Um, for that first month, we had this crazy month. It's going to, I'm telling you now, it's going to be much, much bigger. So, um, so we have to change our thinking about the products, the system, the compensation plan, the industry, but most importantly, we've got to change our thinking about ourselves, about you and me. And I promise you, if we, you know, we almost close to 300 people in this call this evening. I'm sure there's a lot of other leaders doing other calls, but, um, you know, we don't need, like, honestly, this is the thing I've learned is that, you know, I know that not all 300 are going to make a decision to really go for this. And I, I don't expect every single person. I know some people are doing this to earn an extra 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, whatever it may be. But, but what I'm trying to tell you is if all of us change and forget about the money. If all of us just make the, set the intention of going after and really changing people's lives and leaving people better than what we find them, I'm telling you, you, 
you know, success to many leads to greatness. And if you can help enough people get what they want, you can have whatever you want. But it really is going to start with me and you going out there and, you know, and, and, and having courage. Like building this business, you know, afraid that, you know, maybe some people are going to say no. Some people, not every single person you talk to is going to get in. But you know what, if we can get a few people to get on board, a few people that are excited, that are enthusiastic, that see the vision that we're part of, you know, um, I said to some of my leaders the other day, they said, you know, oh, no, but, you know, this leader is not part of Manatech anymore. Oh, you know, he's not joined this company. He's not part of this thing that, you know, what. And here's the thing for me. Those were never my leaders. Because, you know, leaders don't quit. They stick with it, especially if you've got a life-changing product that we have. And I'm so grateful for every single one of you being on the call this evening and realizing that all of you are part of a, a company that's making a massive difference in the world, not just from a financial point of view, but from a health point of view, from a, a point of view of helping kids that are malnourished, from a point of view of giving people purpose. You know, it's one thing not to have money. It's another thing not to have your health. But I'm telling you now, the last thing that you must never ever lose is your purpose in life. And something that you, you, that you work for, something that drives you and motivates you, and makes you get up in, bed in the morning and you're excited, and the evening you're excited because you feel like whatever you're doing, you are leaving the you're leaving people better than what you find them. You're leaving the world a better place. And that's what I've always said to so many of you, is that we with Manitech are changing the world one scoop at a time, one scoop at a time. And you must, I'm telling you the testimonials that I hear every day from people all over the world that are share, sharing with me the financial testimonials. You know, just people get getting purpose in their life again is unbelievable. I'm so excited. And I'm so passionate about that. So um, so this evening, um, you know, I I'm not going to go into massive detail about you know. Um, you know, how to get your business started. But what I will do is probably in another two weeks time, I think what we'll do is I'll do a nice presentation and, you know, maybe we can get five, six hundred people in the school year and we'll do like the basics about, you know, doing your, you know, doing your names list, you know, how do you contact people? How do you, you know, present? How do you, you know, uh, uh, follow up with people and get them started? But, you know, and that's the, the, the crazy thing about the business we're involved in, that people always want to know those things. What do you say to someone? How do you do this? How do you, do this? here's the reality. If you don't know why you're doing this, you're not going to do those things. And that's the most important thing this evening is that I can share with you is that if you know why you're doing this, it's, it's like, it's, it's, if you've got a massive wow, it doesn't like a why you've got a massive how, like you don't even, it, 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 it's, people think you need the why. Actually, no, people want to find out the, 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 how do you do it? How do you do this? How do you do this? But that is like, I'm telling you now 10% of the business, the 90% of the, of it is why. Why, why, why? And if you've got a real, real reason to build the business, you're gonna find you're gonna find the how. The problem is that people want to find the how, but they've never they've never sorted out the why. And that's like almost like um, that's like putting the the, the cart in front of, in front of in front of the horse. It, 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 it's it, that, that's not the way it works. And guess what? The thing that you're gonna realize how life works when you make it when you make a serious decision to build the business. Like maybe this evening you say, you know what, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm like, I'm willing to make sacrifices. I'm willing to put my one hour a day and focus energy or five to seven hours a week into the business. You know, the amazing thing that happens in life is that life is going to, the life or the universe or God is going to test how serious you really are about your decision. So expect, expect this evening. If you're excited about this, but tomorrow your best friend might say, oh no, don't get involved in Manatech. Oh, I know it's a scam. Oh no, my friend tried that. Oh no, my uncle's grandmother's uh, uh, um, cat tried the product and didn't work for them for them it's, it's like people come up with the most amazing things and i'm telling you that is what you've got to realize i mean and i'm gonna leave you all with this before you get on the next conference call <clears throat> i remember when i first started with manatech i remember and a lot of you were, were related to this that way all my friends said to me oh it's a scam you can lose your money um don't get involved or oh, you get it all your i remember one of my best friends from best friends from 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 school we were roommates he went to go and tell all my friends that, oh, now I'm involved in a pyramid scheme and don't get involved. The JP calls you and all these things. And you know what? Like, you know, I always joke now about it, but it's like almost like, you know, like Frank Sinatra said, he said, the best form of revenge is massive success. And that like motivated me to go out there. And I didn't care if I had to talk to a thousand people. And I always share this with people. I would rather have a thousand people tell me, no, I'm not interested, than, than give one person the, 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 the gratitude or the, or the gratification of being able to say to me, oh yeah, I told you so. I told you not to get involved in that manatech thing. I told you it wouldn't work. So for me, that was always my philosophy. I didn't care if I talked to a thousand people because I was willing to do that, but no friend or no one would ever say to me, oh, are you still involved in manatech? And me have to say to them, oh no, I'm not involved, I quit. Oh no, I spoke to five people, no one is interested, it doesn't work anymore. It didn't work 
Because here's what people do. People never say it didn't work for them. They just say, oh, no, Manasik doesn't work. So, so all I can say with all of you, you've obviously not heard it from, from my side, but um, this is the most amazing business that changes people's lives. It's, um, it's just hard enough to make people work, work to make a success. Um, you know, and it's just easy enough that if you do work hard, it'll make a success. But it's, it's, it's not too hard or too easy. It's somewhere in the middle of it. But I mean, I'm telling you, for, for a business where you can start for 750 Rand and buy a bunch of product and be able to build an international business anywhere in the world, man, I think we don't realize what an amazing wicked we're on. And I'm super excited about it. And just in closing, I just want to thank my upline, uh, Thorn Prince Lou, Bronze Presidential, also my upline, Two Stop Platinum, Louis Liani van Linda. And more importantly, my entire group, which is all of you, thank you very much for what you guys do. I appreciate you. And you know what? Let's step out and encourage this, this month. Let's, let's make this month a month to remember. I know it's only uh, August, but let's make it a month to remember and make it the biggest month we've ever had. And, uh, and, 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 you know, and, and, and just set the intention that it can happen. I'm telling you now, if all of us believe it, it's, it's, it's amazing what, what, a, what a few people uh, that believe in the same thing can, can achieve together. So, um, so thank you very much for what you do. It doesn't go unnoticed. I know every single order um, that goes in there, I check my success tracker every single day and you guys all play a big, big, big part. And maybe I'm, you know, maybe the, not the poster child, but, but maybe because I've been doing it a little bit longer, but I, I know what every, all of you guys do. Um, and, and I'm just gonna, I really honestly feel like I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I've maybe done it a little bit longer, but uh, I'm obviously here to help every single one of you guys go to the next level. And um, so, yeah, you must have an awesome week and I wish you all the best. And thank you so much for taking half an hour of your time to, to listen to, to me this evening. And I hope it was of value. So thank you very much and you must have a good evening.